Hey guys, we are out at Lovelace Stadium for the Mean Green softball game as they take on UTA. We're set up in right field where most of the parents set up, and I'm joined by one of the players' dads. This is Troy Thompson. Uh, Bailey is his daughter, and Troy, you guys are set up in, in right field. Kind of a great setup for you guys. Got a good view of the game, too. Makes it uh, pretty enjoyable. Uh, keeps us away from the stands, which is sometimes <laughs> too close to the action. Uh, it's a good area to sit in. It's uh, comfortable. We get to picnic out here and have a good time. You've got the pickup truck today. I know you have an RV that you bring out sometimes, too, to a lot of the home games. What went into the decision to, to buy an RV? Well, um, convenience, uh, more than anything. Uh, it was a place to be able to uh, entertain the team after games, uh, win or lose. We love to cook food, uh, feed the players, the coaches. Um, just a great atmosphere with all the parents, and we have so many new kids that came into the program this year. And fortunately, some of the uh, parents that have been here for a few years have given us some guidance on how to do it, and it's uh, worked out to everyone's advantage. Did you ever try sitting in the stands to begin with? Uh, only in the fall of the first semester that Bailey was here, and that was just a little too close to the action for us. <laughs> well, you guys have a, have a great, great setup out here. Uh, really enjoying it out here. Coming up. In a couple minutes, we're going to have an update on what's going on on the field. The Mean Green taking on UTA, a very tough opponent. It's a great weather out here for the game. We're going to check in right now back in the studio with Tanaya. She's got details on if this warm weather is going to stick with us. Tanaya? Hey, Shannon and Blake. No home runs hit yet, but it is a big game for the Mean Green softball team. They're playing a very tough team in UTA. We'll have an update on what's going on on the field behind us at Lovelace Stadium. Plus, the Dallas Mavericks in a huge game against the Houston Rockets tonight at the AAC. We'll preview that. It's all coming up next in sports. Ming Green softball team taking on the UTA Mavericks right now. They're in the top of the third inning. Scoreless so far, but UTA is, uh, is threatening with two runners on. Jessica Elder in the circle for the Ming Green today. It's a tough UTA team. They are 25-7 and seven on the year. They won their first 19 games of the season. The best start in UTA program history, so the Ming Green have their work cut out for them. The Dallas Mavericks are taking on the Houston Rockets at the AAC tonight. It is a big game for the Mavericks and a big part of their recent success. They've won the last four games has been the smallest player on the court. J.J. Barea, the point guard, won the Western Conference Player of the Week award. And he's over the last four games, those last four wins, he's averaging 24 points a game. Dallas lost to Houston in their last meeting in, back in January. But right now, the stakes are higher than ever. These two teams fighting for playoff spots. Dallas is seventh in the West. Houston is in ninth. Big game between Dallas and Houston tonight. Tip-off at the AAC is at 8.30. Monday night's national championship game between Villanova and North Carolina. One of the best endings we'll ever see in college basketball. Let's check it out again. You can't get enough of this. Can't see it enough unless you're a Tar Heels fan, that is. Chris Jenkins hitting the three to win it before the horn. Last night, the women's college title game, more of a snoozer than a nail biter. Dallas native Mariah Jefferson helps the Yukon Huskies beat Syracuse 82 to 51. Jefferson finishes her career four out of four. Four years, four national titles. The Texas Rangers were out at the ballpark in Arlington this afternoon, wrapping up a three game series with the Seattle Mariners. Starter Colby Lewis had a, had a bumpy start for the Rangers, but reined it in. Three runs in six innings he gives up, but then a five-run ninth inning by the Seattle Mariners, led by former Ranger Leonis Martin and Ranger killers Kyle Seeger, give the, give the Seattle Mariners the comeback win over Texas 9-5. to five. Today, Rangers lose. Texas begins a four-game road trip in Los Angeles tomorrow night against the Angels. Now, if the Rangers do need some speed, I think I've found the right spot for them. Check this out. This is a Rangers-themed NASCAR. It's going to drive in the Friday event for NASCAR at the Texas Motor Speedway. Brandon Jones is going to drive it. Not only is this car wrapped up in Rangers red, white, and blue, but that driver suit that Jones is going to wear, it's going to be modeled after one of the Rangers uniforms. The kid's only 19. I'm just waiting for the NCTV news van to come out. And if the Rangers want to help us out, please do so. I'm going to try to get Jeff Bannister on the phone, see if we can get that NCTV news van for us. Now guys, it is also Dollar Hot Dog Night here at Lovelace Stadium. 
I think I'm going to get a hot dog, and then I'm going to hang out back here in right field with the right field rowdies, the parents of the Mean Green softball team that come out and support them so much. We all, we'll uh, have some highlights from this game and post-game reaction as well tomorrow for you on NTTV News. Shannon, back to you.